Anyway, this is the uh, Fusion 360 setup for this cone. So if I edit this, what have we got here? We've got the setup. Um, all right. It's just going across there. The main thing is stock. Stock is uh, 20 millimeter aluminium, round aluminium. Uh, seven cut 17 long, and I cut that off and face it and everything in the manual lathe before I start. Uh, drill and tap one end so I can screw it to the fixture. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, that's okay. Z axis is this way, X axis is that way. So if we look at the profile and edit that, uh, the tool I'm using is um, VMB VBMT something or other, I've forgotten the size of it now, but it's the standard tool that I use, a diamond shaped tool. And the interesting thing that works in this particular video is the fact that I use the tool to go both ways. You can see from this little fly out that the, um, you've got front to back, back to front, both ways. I tend to use back to front and front to back, but I've never used both ways before and that's sliced quite a bit off this time to make this part. Uh, what else have we got? The geometry, the radius, is, is, it, it's cutting between here and there. Um, got a few offsets set, what have we got here, passes. That's right, it does one finish pass uh, with a 0.25 millimeter step over, finish feed rate of 0.2 millimeter per rev, and the roughing passes is 0.35 millimeters step over, and this overlap, I see what it means here, 0.175, not very much, no stock to leave. Linking, safe distance to 45 degree lead in angle and that's it. So there you can see here, if I zoom in a bit closer, you can see the zigzag path that it traverses along and then it cuts this way and then it cuts that way and then cuts that way and it works really well. I'll just simulate that. Simulate. And Slow it down a little bit. And there you can see the, uh, the cutting action back and forward. So it's not wasting time doing a retraction and going back to the start and repeating like uh, you normally do. And here comes the finish cut along there. That's it. Job done.
Bettis Wharf. That's the uh, three millimeter thread that I screwed into the 12 millimeter hex. There's the jig. There's the program. And there's the finished parts. Uh, got very sharp edges on them. I'll have to uh, sand them off a little bit. To, they came out really well. I'm pleased with that uh, back to front or both way um, cutting action um, on this, this thing. It saved about oh, 20 seconds per cycle. <laughs>